Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to talk about ways to make a four and ways to make a five. If you do not have a piece of paper and a pencil, I would like you to pause the video and go grab one now because I want you writing along with me. So pause and come back when you have paper and pencil. Welcome back. We're going to start with the story of four, our different ways of making a four. And we're going to use our red counters to help us out. So we're going to start by taking one, two, three, four red counters. So we have four red counters, but we have zero yellow counters. So four red counters plus zero yellow counters equals four. Now we're going to take one of those red counters away. We're going to have three red counters, and we're going to replace that with a yellow counter. So now we have one, two, three red plus one yellow also equals four. Let's replace another one. We're going to replace another red with the yellow. Now we have one, two red plus one, two yellow. Two plus two is another way of making four. Let's do it again. Let's take a red, replace it with a yellow. Now we have one red counter plus one, two, three yellow counters gives us a total of four. Now, if we were to replace the counters again and we got rid of the red and replaced it with a yellow, which one of these number sentences shows four yellow plus zero red? If you said the top one, you're right. And that's how you make the story of four. Next, we're going to talk about the story of five and ways to make five. To do that, we are going to be looking at a little cup right here. Looks just like this with some beads on it. So right now, if you look at our cup with our beads on it, you can see on this side of the cup, we have one, two, three, four, five beads on this side of the cup. So on your paper, we're going to start our story of five. So write story of five. If you ever need to pause the video to take your notes, you can do that. So we have five beads on one side, zero beads on the other. That gives us five plus zero equals five. If we look at our cup again, just like this, and we take one of these beads and we move it to the other side, now we have one, two, three, four beads on this side and one bead on the other. Our number sentence is going to be four plus one equals five. So let's write that on our board. Four plus one equals five. So, so far we have two ways of making a five. Let's go back to our cup. It's time to take our beads and slide another bead to the other side. Now we have one, two, three beads on this side and one, two on the other side, giving us three plus two as another way to make five. Three plus two equals five. So on your board, so far we have three ways of making a five. Let's go back to our cup and check it out. Here's our cup again. It's time to slide one more bead over. When we do that, we can see we now have one, two beads on this side, but we have three beads on the other side. So our number sentence is two plus three 
equals five. Time to record it. Two plus three equals five. All right, but we're not done yet. Let's look at our cup. Can we still move some of these beads? Absolutely we can. So we're going to, we have two on this side. We're gonna move another one over. Now our number sentence has changed how we made a five. We have one bead on this side plus one, two, three, four beads on the other side. One plus four equals five. Let's record it. Our story of five is getting longer. One plus four equals five. Let's see if there's any more beads that we can move. Here's our cup. We have one bead on this side, and let's move it to the other side. Right now, we have no beads on one side, but five beads on the other. Let's take a look at which of these that would match. If you picked five plus zero equals five, you are correct. So as you can see, in the story of five, we have one, two, three, four, five ways of making the number five. So if you have any counters at home, like pennies or pieces of cereal or pieces of uh, macaroni noodles, I want you to practice the ways of making the story of five and ways of making the story of four. You've been great listeners today. Keep practicing that math.